Hello, and welcome to, or welcome back, to some Spell Rogue. Uh, I started it over so we could kind of watch the intro, because it's, uh, it's, it's cool and pretty. Alright, so we're going to go ahead, uh, press any key to continue. Uh, greetings, Dice Slinger. Uh, thank you for checking out Spell Rogue. Developers openly run playtests periodically. And there's a playtest and a, a demo going online right now, or on Steam. I'll have a link down for that in the description. Uh, I played this a long time ago, uh, but they've made a lot of changes to it. So I just kind of want to come in, kind of check on it, see how it goes. Uh, if you don't know how this works, is uh, we're going to roll some dice. And I uh, only have one thing open. So it's kind of, you know, Slay the Spire, you know, that type of game where, you know, or uh, Monster Train or any of the other stuff, right? So, uh, So basically we get cards, right? Uh, game uh, turn one game concoction does not cost any charge. Talisman roll a die. Uh, Ocean's breath uh, roll ten dice. Game two block. Think roll ten dice in game two block. Mm. That may be fun. I don't know if we'll... I don't know. All right, so uh, if you kind of look at this, over here we have a shop. Over here we have a sanctuary. Select for a selection of gifts, right? So you kind of have to choose, pick and choose. Uh, unguarded uh, unguarded shard, right? Uh, and then kind of there's another shop over there. Just kind of where you want to go. I don't know if we're going to have a lot of money to be able to do stuff, so we may go with the, this guy. So we'll go to the battle this way this first. All right, so combat. So the way this works is we roll our die. Oh, so when I roll 10 die, I get two block. Okay, I got it now. All right. Uh, casting spells, dice rolls, right? All right, so spell breakdown, easy enough. All right, so let's go look at this. So basically, fluctuate, re-roll a die. So basically, if we have one that doesn't do what we want it to do, um, then we can re-roll it and get something better, right? So this we have a block. He is going to gaining to grow. So he's not going to really, doesn't look like he's going to hit us. Looks like he's just going to grow. Uh, so we kind of want to do some damage to him. So this deals X damage. So whatever die I put in here is how much damage it's going to cause. And I got to choose where it goes. Uh, I don't need block right now. So I'm going to reroll this die. And then I'm going to reroll this one. I'm looking for higher numbers. So I have one reroll left, so it's probably best just to stick with my four, just to just to be, you know, safe. Uh, but I only get two of those anyway, uh, so we'll go ahead and put that into block. And then these little charges are how many times you can use that before it goes away. So now he's grown. I don't know what grow does. Plus two power. Start of each round. Yeah, so that, that doesn't seem like something I want to have laying around. Uh, so we're going to smack him for six. We'll smack him for six. We'll re-roll roll this two. And we got a four. So now we'll re-roll the three. And we'll definitely re-roll the one. All right, so we'll hit him for... Actually, we're going to block for four. And then we're going to hit him for... Uh, you know what? We'll block. We'll block for that too. So now we have nine block. Actually, I probably had enough to block him anyway. Yeah, I did. All right. So now we got a six. So we're gonna whack a doodle him with a six. And yay, we win! So it's a lot of strategy trying to figure out what you want to do with it. So here we get a spell. Choose any spell, and we get nineteen gold. All right, so so this one deals two damage. It applies uh, to Rapture. Rapture increases damage received on target for one turn. So basically, we'd want to hit him with this thing, and then then hit him with our other other thing. Uh, next turn, roll plus two dice. So basically, if you punt nine into this, you can get more dice in the future. Uh, so this is a countdown socket. So basically, you, once you hit nine, it, it works. And then this one replenish Azure. 
gain X block uh, reroll die. So basically, I can just drop a one or a two in here, and it would basically reroll it and give me a little bit of block. Um, so basically, it's just giving me more reroll. So do I want to go more damage or do I want to do more reroll? Now, this one also requires a specific value of four. So you have to put a four in there. Nothing else works. So actually, I think. I don't know. I'm kind of torn between these two. I think I'm probably going to go with this one. So being able to reroll a one or a two basically for free and get a little bit of block out of it. Probably not the worst thing. Uh, Berserk, gain one power whenever attacked by spells. So we only want to hit him with really heavy things. Uh, so here we have our one, so we'll do that. We'll do that, re-rolls to a two. We'll re-roll it again. So now we actually have three block already, and uh, we're gonna hit him. So he's gonna get angry here real quick because I'm gonna smack a doodle limb here. And then we'll smack a doodle limb again. So now he's already causing seven damage to us. So uh, we'll go ahead and block that. So we'll go ahead and end that turn. So now he's gonna hit us for <laughs> three twice. Uh, that's not good uh, because then I'm going to uh, smack him some more. and. Um, that's not going to end well. All right, so uh, we have the five. So we'll hit him with five. So that gets well, that that guy is scary. All right, and then a six, and that should should murderize him. So we're good for that. All right, so we got some gold, got another card, and then we got vampire accent gained life still for one turn. Uh, heal 20% of the damage dealt for uh, health for the attack. Okay, so that's cool. We'll keep that potion laying around. Uh, gain Ice Fury. Ice Fury increases damage on next attack. Um, and it's a countdown counter for five. This one gains uh, gain two block, roll an odd dice, right? So basically, I throw, put an even in, I can get an odd out. Uh, incursion again. I think I'm going to go with the Incursion uh, just because if I do get that to work. We could probably do it. Now, we do have 68 gold. So, the question is, is do we think we have enough money to be able to buy stuff there? Or should we just go choose the free gift? I think I'm going to go for the free gift because I might be able to buy one thing here. Um, or maybe two if I'm lucky. Uh, temple, choose one. Health. Uh, so I don't really need health. Gain Blast Pot. Disenchant. Destroy a selected spell and, and inserted shards are released from disenchanted spells. Apply to Rapture and then... Okay. Disenchant two spells. Turn one, deal 15 damage to random enemy. I don't know if I want to lose two spells for that. The dark arts, I don't know. I think I'll just take the blast pot. Maybe. We can lose 50 gold and get eight max health. Um, hard, hard questions. Um, let's see, maybe we'll get the boss pot. All right. Oh, I mean, you know, we could do both. So you get one in each level here. I don't know if I want to spend my gold. Let's do it. Health is usually helpful. Unguarded charge. Charge can be used to upgrade spells or to gain additional spell book slots. So then it wants us to go look at this. So what this work looks at now is we can go look at let's see. Uh shards. 
Dragon drop shards on dispels to upgrade our uh, into lock or gain additional spot. So we can grab this and upgrade. Does it allow us to see what they do? No. Oh. Pieces damage. Oh, okay. So basically, I put it on here so I can either increase the damage or uh, that gains plus one charge. And that turns that to a countdown. That would be apply six rapture. Okay. So, all right. I see how this is going. Uh, going from specific to countdown, I think, may be a good plan to go. Uh, that is probably a better plan. Uh, we have an elite monster over there. Uh, may not be the best plan, but it's the one I'm going to go with. All right, so we have two guys here. All right, so... Oh, they're going to knock the crap out of me. Um, that's only three block. That's not going to help me a lot. Actually, I don't want to use that yet. Uh, let's see. In Rapture... I don't know if that's going to help me. That's for one turn. I don't know if it stays next turn. That is the question. And I'm fixing to get blasted is what's going to happen. Uh, oh, it's indecisive. Indecisive. I guess we can get... There you go. That's what I wanted. I wanted a two. Then we got a four. So Rapture does increases damage on target. So if I do this and then I wackadoodle him, he's now got four Rapture. So this should be ten damage. Yeah, so that's 10 damage. And I'll kill that guy. All right. The only issue is I don't know if that Rapture will last to the next turn or not. So let's re-roll this guy. We got us a four. Issue is... What is he doing? Snare. 50% damage retreats. Whoa, for X turns. I don't like that. Okay, I do not like that at all, good sir. Um, we're going to rapture him. And then we're going to just blast him in the next week if we can. All right, so we'll go ahead and end that turn. Okay, so th that's snared. Marked. Remove snare when it's used. This turn. Okay, so he's basically going to cause me problems. And that's going to give me marked, I think, yeah. Hopefully... I'm going to do this. We're going to rapture this guy. And then we're going to do that. We'll take the mark. That's fine because we murderized him. All right. A little bit more gold. And we'll take another spell. Uh, so ice block. Uh, gain ice fury. Increases damage on next attack. Okay. That may not be bad. Block on six reroll dice. 
So basically, if I can put a six in here, I get it to re-roll, and I get even three block. Uh, damage on, increase damage on attacks. Lose one health at start of turn when reduce. Okay. So basically, I do this. It gives me more power, but I'm also causing damage to myself. I think the Ice Fury is the way to go. Uh, and then, now the question is, is do I pull one of these spells out? Uh, that's eight. Maybe we'll replace that one. So I'll do that. All right, let's go try the elite battle and see how this works out for us. I'm sure it will be fine. I can't think of a single thing that could go wrong. All right, so. What are you going to do? Oh, good. Nope, I want I want a four or yeah, there you go. I wanted that right there. That's good. So we'll do that. We're, so we're gonna rapture this guy, and then we're gonna ice spear him twice. In turn, oh good. That's that's um receives two damage whenever the spell is cast. Okay, so he's gonna ignite one of our cards. So I I don't I don't like that. He's also going to cause ten damage to us, which I also do not like. Um, you know what? Let's try this. Let's go ahead. We're going to rapture him, and then oh, actually, rapture doesn't go to the next turn, so rapture goes away. Until end of turn. Okay. We're going to do that. So we'll block his damage. He's going to set one of our cards on fire. That will be fine. Oh, good. My damage card. That's the one I wanted on fire. Uh, he's going to hit me for hard damage again. So... If I do... This and this, that'll give me eight. I can only use that once, okay? I really don't want to hit Ignite. Okay, so that, oh wow, that's doing 10 damage now. Uh, that's... It's either, so he's going to, basically I would take that, I'd cause 14 damage to him, or I could do 10 damage. Um, I prefer not to take the health damage right now. I ignited that one again, jerk. Um, all right, so, you know what, fine. Oh, so you build it up, and then as soon as you hit him with something, it, it uses it. Okay. Okay. Okay, that's how this is working. See, I see see what you're putting down here. Uh, So you're going to hit me for seven twice, which I do not like. Um, The problem is I can get six block. Um, this may be, maybe one of those times where I just, uh, I can block some of it. I can't block all of it. We'll do this one. We'll do that. We'll go ahead and get the block there. Go ahead and roll this one. Okay, good. We got a one. Now we got a three. Um, so we'll do that and prepare for the next turn. All right. 
right, so he's just he's just setting me on fire. I don't like it. Let's do this one. Let's do this one. That's plus eight damage there. Like, I'd like to get the Rapture on it, too, but I don't think I can get both of them. Don't think I can get the Rapture and the, uh, the Frozen Shield both at the same time. You're just setting all my stuff on fire. Um... Not helpful. That's a little bit more helpful. All right, so we'll do block, block, and then whack him. So the trick is, is trying to figure out to which cards you can play versus which what you're going to take damage from, and it's it's a it's neat. I like it. It's a cool game. So let's reroll this too. So that gave us a five. So now if we hit him with this one. Boop, and then we will be able to, to definitely survive that one. Oh, he was he was an angry, angry little fireball. A little, little bit more gold. Uh, plus two value to all dice. That's helpful. Choose and gain spell. Okay. Artifact shard. Choose either artifact or a shard. Turn one, gain 15 block. Or gain a shard. Uh, we'll take the shard. See what the spell looks like. Apply two poison at uh, to a random enemy. That one's not bad. We're not really going poison right now, though. Gain eight block. on, uh, But you have to have two even. And if you can get those to add up to an eight. Then you get uh, two power. Deals X damage and rerolls lowest die. Um, I kind of like that idea. Because right here, this is deal X damage. Um, but it doesn't reroll our lowest die. I like that idea. So then we do have a shard. Uh, so, so that's still X plus three damage. We can use it an extra time. This will gain extra fury, extra block. I'm not really using the, rep uh, actually, I think it, no. Yeah. Oh, so we can do, okay, so we could re-roll that. Um, I think the plus three damage is our way to go here. I think that is the way to go. Okay. Back out of that. Let's go to the shop and see if we find anything. I probably should have waited for the Azure until I got up here. Dark Arts, okay, Dark Star. Autocast when attack. Spell play. Deal two damage to a random target. I, that sounds like fun. It's only two damage, but basically every time you attack, it just deals random extra damage. I think it takes a card slot, though, so I'm not, I'm not feeling that part. Uh, each four attack spells cast in a single turn apply one week to all enemies. I can't really do that one. Gaining rare spells and potions from combat. I don't have the money for that. 71. Um, I kind of like this idea, even though that's a bad thing. Oh, we can sell a card too. Um... Sell that one. 
Plus one for ten. It doesn't do Mary good. All right, so I want to change one of these out for this. But the problem is I can't really do it. Like, I got it, and now I, I'm, I need to unlock a, a slot. Need to unlock a slot. All right, so heal health. You got no monies. Uh, gain every third turn, split a random dice in two. Um, that may be helpful, but I don't know how often we get to the third. Can we, so we can disenchant that one. That's fine. Um, I don't really have the ability to do that. So we're just going to, we're going to pass it. All right. So boss battle. Yay. Boss battles. Combat. We do have 90. All right. So I think the mother of flames, eight damage, are you? A plus two value to all dice may not be a bad plan. So if we do that, we do four. We're only going to take three damage from them. So I think what I'm going to do... Actually, that's probably even a better plan. Throw that at you. Uh, you know what? Maybe I'll save that one for a minute. Just rapture you. Do this. That didn't help. Even get nope. One more. <laughs> it failed miserably. Oh, I, I, I should have stayed with a three. All right. Uh, we'll end that turn. Oh, good. You're summoning things. Um, see if we can get a better die out of that one. Better die out of this one. Nope. We have failed. We have failed. You're going to whack a doodle on me for eight. I don't like that. Need to get rid of that guy. I need him to go away. Um, you guys are not helping me here. All right, that's better. So let's do this, and let's do this, and let's block. Let's get some block action going. You know, summon, mother, summoning reinforcements, great. Just what I needed. All right, so... I do... I don't need block this turn. That's only going to deal six damage. Rapture you. Do this for nine damage. Or 13. That's going to reroll you. Of course it will. That's going to be five. So we'll do this to get another. We'll get that a block so that we can get the not helpful. Well, something higher. All right. So now we got a four. Uh, so now we can do this. And that will be enough to murderize that guy. I got to keep his ads knocked down. Uh, you don't want to let these things start start getting their ads out because it, it's not it's not fun. Uh, so we'll go ahead and do that one. All right, so there's a five. 
So that would be eight. That's not enough to kill it. I can kill one of them with a six. Um, it's going to reroll my lowest die, so I don't really want to do that. So that's actually, it's good, but reroll lowest die, like when I have a five and a six, isn't good either. Um, this isn't going to go well. Full detonation block. Oh, they're all going to explode and cause me lots of damages. Um, I see what's going on here. All right, so let's go. Let's do that one. Got a four. Let's do that one. We've got another four. Uh, so I'm going to block that. So at least we got that point. Um, that one doesn't really do me a lot of good. And yeah, they got so much block, it doesn't do me any good. I wish the rapture, I could use or save the rapture for later, but we'll just rapture him twice. Yeah, it's, that's just going to hurt. That's why you got to kill those ads. Okay, so we'll block that guy. Oh, nice, a six. And what do we got here? Oh, another six. Um, you know what? Maybe we'll just do. At least he's not. He's going to set one of my cards on fire, though. Oh, it's going to reroll my six. At least I got a five out of it. Ha ha! Sucker fish. Yeah, that reroll thing is. It's good, but it's. Oh. It's good when you need it, uh, but for so far, it's uh, not not doing well for me. I don't I don't like it. Uh, artifact from the boss, so a plus roll plus one dice each turn, which is would be on enemy death lose lose one health. Ooh. Ley line focus roll plus one dice each turn. All enemies gain turn one. Oh, gain power. Cast 12 spells, roll a dice. Uh, and, I kind of like the Dreadstone, maybe. We'll take the Dreadstone. I don't know if it's a good plan or not, but it's the one I'm going with. Oh, good. There's a big dinosaur down there. That's That should, should end well for me. All right. So it looks like, what is this? Relic, choosing gain a relic. So there's the store there. So it doesn't really matter. I might as well go for the sanctuary gift. So we'll go up the right side. Uh, let's see. Right, let's do this. Let's go ahead and unlock a shard. Uh, and then we'll do that guy. So we'll put Dark Star in. Okay. So that way we're just randomly causing a little pingy damage everywhere. Which, that one's going to be good until it's not. Uh, as soon as I get something that every time I hit it for damage, it takes more, it causes, or uh, takes damage from me, it's going to be bad. Uh, all right, so let's do this. So we'll go. All right, what are you guys doing? You're both going to hit me for 11, and I don't like either of those. And mark, apply one mark to the wizard. Okay, yeah, I don't, I don't like, I don't like either of those. I, I'm not, I'm not a fan. Do that, so that way at least we get some block. Did those just go up? We. My spell played receive weak. Oh, so when I play a spell, they get weak. Oh, fancy. See, auto cast when attacked spell is 
cast. Okay. So basically, I want to cast as many spells as I can to try to get these guys as weak as I can. All right, all right. I'm I, I'm seeing I'm seeing what you're putting down here. All right, so go ahead, do that. So they got a little bit of weak. We'll do. This guy on the one in the back. And then we'll do this guy also on the one in the back. We roll the, roll the four. Do this again. And then we got a three. And we'll kill that guy and... Nope. Didn't Dark Star the first one. That's not very nice. I didn't I didn't shield myself enough. And in that freaking oh, yeah, the time two's damage. Yeah, I'm not a fan of that, my friend. Fine, let's do that. Let's do that. And then we're gonna do this. Only because it's I'm a jerk and I wanted to knock you down a little bit. All right, a little bit of gold. See if we find another spell. Decrease by one for each block. Remove half of your block. Um, gain three block on six free roll. Deal X damage to random enemy two times. That one may not be bad. The whole problem is it's the random enemy. And I'm kind of doing targeted. Three block on it, not not helpful. I I don't really like any of these to be fair. Um, not a big fan of any of that that just happened. All right, uh, we're gonna go this way to do the battle and try to get into that free stuff. Oh, good. Empower. Um, let's see. We'll go ahead and re-roll this guy. Uh, they're not getting weak. That's that's could have been better. The three. This is not helping me. What the poop today? There's at least a six. So we'll do this guy. Yes, we'll just do... This guy's the lowest. We'll, we'll hit him first. And then we'll do... Six. And then this would be... Alright, so at least we murderize that guy. And then we get a one. So that's helpful. It's not helpful. Probably should, could have put it into the frozen shield. Probably have been a smarter move, but. All right, let's see. So we'll get shield from that guy and shield from this guy again. All right, so at least we got a six. So if we put a three into this guy. Hit him. Whack this guy with a six. Do fluctuate. We'll just murderize that guy. Now we'll re-roll that one. And you know what? We'll put that into the shield. Because it won't do any good to... Just deal two damage to him this turn. Well, actually, I, I guess it would have dealt four damage to him. Or actually six. Numbers get hard. So we'll do that. Whack a doodle that guy. Whack a doodle dead. 
Woohoo! So it's starting to do okay. I'm starting to starting to make some progress here. See if we can get another uh, three damage, increased damage to this spell by one this combat. Um, I kind of like that. Uh, rain, apply three rain, mute for three turns. At the start of turn, reduce all countdown spells by three. Remove one stack of rain. Okay, we're not doing countdown. I'm going to go with this guy. Um, and the reason I'm going to go with that guy is because I'm going to do that. Uh, the extra three damage is nice, but if I can just churn this thing through, uh, and basically it, it spells this combat, so it basically just grows. It's stronger and stronger and stronger. Uh, so I like it. Let's do that. If I had a shard, I would have used it. Uh, we'll probably go with just the health. Rewrite reality. One to four, reroll dice, gain one block. Um, I don't think that one's good. Apply portent to a random skill. Must be played at first spell in the turn or else portent is removed. I don't like any of those, actually. Remove all negative status effects. I like that one. Uh, gain relic. Gain relic. Uh, gain relic. Uh, next spell is cast... Twice? Ooh. Add... One charge to target spell. Casting spell cost one. Restore at the start of each turn. Instantly cast target spell using highest possible value for... So basically... I could be able to cast a spell extra. I don't think that would help. Spell echo. Next spell is cast twice. Instantly cast spell using highest possible value for... So basically, I can cast one spell for the highest amount I can, or I can double the spell. Um, I think this is a better plan, because that spell echo, I could run into a situation where... Oh, that was a card? Oh, no, it's a relic. Okay. See how this works. Combat. So we have basically that. All right. So we need to get a block. Four, four works great. Get a, another block here. One, not so good. So let's go ahead and roll this guy. And we'll hit him with a rapture. Oh, that's every third turn. Okay. So we'll do that. So we're going to deal seven damage. And now deal four damage. Okay. Oh, it doesn't reroll my thing anymore. Two. Oh, there's a four. Well, that... I guess technically this would work on that, and then this will work on this like that. What is he going to do? Game uh, Malediction. Bonus attack that deals unmodifiable damage to the wizard, then double the stack. Oh, God. Uh, we want to murderize this guy soon. Okay, so technically, uh, I want to do this, then I want to do this, then I want to do this, and then I want to do this.
We'll go ahead. Ugh, ouch. I don't, I don't like it. Oh, he messed up my rolls. So, we'll give him this guy, give him this guy, do that. Hit you with that. Hit you with that. All right, cool. I like, I like, I like it. Oh, that was, I probably should have used my, some of my stuff to get my points back. That would have probably been smart. Flowing mana, reroll all dice. Okay, flowing mana, no room for additional potions. That makes sense. Double ice fury. Yeah, that one could be nice. Apply poison to random enemies. Like, I don't like any of these. The Ice Fury is great, but I'm not really using it as much. With Icy, increases damage on next attack. We actually cast pretty quickly. A Shard is probably going to be a better plan, though. Uh, let's see. Go away. Let's take this one. All right. So if I do this... Oh, by two this combat? Oh, my lord. That's angry. Oh, that's all cast when defense play. Our spells are done. Oh, so basically anytime I would defend, it just basically nukes them for six instead. Oh, and that allows me to do it infinite number of times. I kind of like this thing being growing at two. That changes it to a countdown. I like I like that. I like it growing by two. That's a that's a that's a spicy meatball. All right, let's see. Duplicate dice. What does this do? Oh, so I put a die in, and then it duplicates it. Okay. Okay, potency, broken. Okay, treasure bottle, spawns a random treasure artifact. Okay. Uh, let's sell some stuff. Um, sell that one. Sell that one. Sell that one. And you know what? Might as well sell that one, too. All right, so cast four spells, reroll lost, unused dice. Okay, turn, roll, roll a die. You target to spell, split, split target dice into two. I don't know. I think the turn one roll of extra die may be a good one. The duplicate dice, it just works for that turn. If only if it's a, actually, technically, if I got a three, I could cause crazy damage with that. Um, I think I'm going to sell. Um, I want to sell that. Okay, so it won't let me do it. Throw that one away. I want to take this one. And then I want to use it. And we got... When rolling a two hill, one health. Okay, I, I like that idea. That's that's good stuff right there. Um... Kind of like the four spells reroll 
We'll do that one. I like it. Um, do we go to the elite monsters? I think where was the yeah when we roll a two. So I wanted to fight. Let's go for the elite monsters. Why not? We're we're you know this this can't think of a single thing that could go wrong. Spawns illusions of itself every round. Illusions health is reduced to one on first hit and dies when leader dies. Okay. Oh, the Dark Star will actually be really good for that. Uh, so, and then we got two twos, so that's great. You can hit me for 12. I don't, I'm, I'm not liking that. Uh, if I could get another four, that would be great. Thanks, buddy. So we'll do that. Oh, that, that felled me. <laughs> All right, so do that one. <laughs> oh, I'm a rerolling dice fool. So we're just we're just gonna nuke this guy from orbit. Yeah, he's gonna he's not he's not being nice. He's not playing he's not playing polite. Oh no, he. Messed up my icicle. Did it, it just eat it? What the hell just happened? I need. I need a four. You're not being cooperative. You really are not being cooperative. Actually, I guess technically I could do this. And then Okay, that is, so let's do this guy. We'll hit him. And then we're going to ignite him while we're at it. We'll take we'll take the damage, but as long as we roll twos, we'll be fine. Oh, what is that? I don't like that. What did you do to me? Minus 33% attack damage for two turns. That's not even fair. It's not even polite. Not gonna stop me though. Do that. There you go. All right, that all worked out fine. You know I could have used some more twos, but I should. I keep forgetting to use the vampire potion. Take some money. Remove all negative status effects. Okay. Uh, any good spells? On an odd rain. Gain X plus one block. Barrier. What does Barrier do? Gain block at the end of each turn. Blocks damage until next turn. Water Vortex. Ah, none of these are... I'm not, not super happy about any of these, actually. Uh, cast 10 spells. Deal 6 damage to all enemies. Okay. Uh, I, I will gladly take the uh, cause damage to all enemies because uh, I'm casting a lot of spells. Branding Tonic, apply Marked Dark Arts again. Let's see. Destroy a selected spell. Insert shards or release from this gen. Okay. Gain Pox Bringer. Apply one Pox. On reaching three Pox, deal 10 damage and remove three Pox. Um, go ahead, heal. I don't know. I, I, I'm, I don't know what I, I, I don't know. Slowly, slowly working our way through this one. Ooh. Um, well, that's, uh, that's awkward. 
So let's go ahead and put the four in. Oh no, it's a Hydra. So the problem is I need to kill the body. Um, problem is, is I'm going to take a bunch of damage. That's Poxbringer. That's not, that's, I don't like that at all. I am not a fan of, of what's going on here. The problem is if I kill his head, uh, he's going to bring another friend out. And I'm sure it's not going to get better. Because that's not how that works. The real trick is, oh, God. I think I got to get, yeah. So basically, he's going to hit me for pox, and every third turn, I'm going to take an extra 10 damage is what's going to end up happening. Uh, Basically, just try to to grow my uh, my ice sickle blade as much as I can. That's all I can really do. Uh, and actually, probably next, uh, maybe I'll wait a little bit longer before I do it. Oh, good, too. We got a heal. So let's let's use this because I keep forgetting to use it. So we'll do that. We'll block block that. And that will give us even more damage for this bad boy. So we are, we are, we're taking some chunks out of them. And I don't know if it grows extra heads, but it seems like it should. Um, and I don't want to deal with it. So that's that. It's fine. We'll do this guy here. Do this guy here also. Then we'll do that. We'll just nuke him as hard as we can. But I think I'm going to wait until next turn to do that. Okay, so let's go ahead and put a four here. Just kind of nuking him as hard as we can. Oh no, he killed me. No, I wasn't paying attention. It said a kill right there. Oh. <laughs> 17 encounters mana inversion unlocked loadout mana inversion right so we can we'll, we'll unlock the new starting spell loadout for uh them kill 20 enemies so we roll 200 dice look at that we got all kinds of, of stuff there oh it didn't it didn't work well
So, but basically what that should allow us to do is next time we can come in and we have a different starting spark point. So we have X block, uh, flip dice upside down. Okay. Yeah, so the opposite side of the dice always equals seven. Right? And so that it's nice that it tells you that because, you know, trying to sit there and figure it out and roll a dice over here. I have a dice on my desk. I could have looked at it. Uh, and even is just deal X damage. Uh, so that's kind of cool. So odd we can block, even we can do this, and this we can flip it over. So that's great. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and leave that for the next next time. Uh, if you guys enjoyed uh, Spell Rogue, do me a favor. Go ahead, throw a like down on the video. I, I almost called it the wrong thing. Uh, the uh, It is out. Uh, the demo is still on Steam. Uh, there'll be a link down in the description for that. Uh, it just says, coming soon. So I don't know when it will be released. Uh, but you can go wish list it and do all that stuff. If you like the videos, please do me, do me a favor, throw a like on the video. If you have a question, comment, or concern, please leave that down below. And also make sure you're subscribed. With that, we'll talk to you guys later. Y'all be safe. Bye!